what's up guys I took off my shoes already but <laughs> i don't even know how to like prop you guys up i really need to find a place to put the camera so when i'm talking to you guys i can like legit talk to you for real for real see i don't even know i'm not even holding the camera right y'all this vlog thing has been super hard <laughs> <laughs> because I've been trying to be consistent, but to be honest, it's been really hard. Um, these last few weeks, I've been transitioning into my new job. So with that being said, your girl has been trying to find her way. I've been trying to figure out a schedule. I haven't even been in the gym, which has been annoying because um, I haven't found my rhythm at work and not being exhausted from work and then actually doing other things. Sounds like my neighbor is singing. I don't know. But, um, yeah, so I just decided to pick up the camera because there's a lot going on, not only just in my personal life, but in the world. I mean, obviously, you guys are all familiar. all know what's going on with the whole um, coronavirus situation. It's just insane how, like, you know, from the cases that have happened to like the actual like mass marketing of like all these companies really maximizing on the product right now, like legit stores that are selling out of like paper towels, toilet paper, cleaning supplies, like disinfectants and Purell, like um, hand sanitizers and all that type of stuff. Like it's insane right now. And I just came from Target. Y'all, I came from Target. Let me show y'all what I got much of nothing so these big bags only because like the bags that I had originally which is a regular size bag was just kind of small and I couldn't even like actually hold it by its uh str what what is it handles <laughs> so I just put them inside of this really big big bag oh no but I got some like oh, I'm not gonna show y'all I got some food that I'm about to put away real quick. It's just some random stuff because I really didn't know what to get. Like, and because it was super bare minimum, like, stuff. I'll show y'all, I guess. But, yeah. So, your girl just came from the store. I just got off work and then I went straight to Target. My other days this week, I mean, you know, it's only been, like, maybe two days or so where people are, like, legit thirsty like, I don't know where to put this. Can I, should I just put it back here? Ugh. It's only been like two or three days so far where, oh, it's so dark. I'm just gonna hold you guys, whatever. <laughs> um, It's only been like two or three days where people have been like legit thirsty to purchase all this stuff. Clean supplies and disinfectants and food. <laughs> So within these last three days of this urgency to buy all this stuff, I have not had the opportunity to like go to the store and actually purchase stuff. So I, cause I've been at work and it's just like the times in which I go to work, um, are hours in which, you know, the stores are open. And then when I get off, like a lot of stuff in my area is closed and I don't want to travel super far just to get, you know, basic essentials that I should be able to get in my neighborhood, which is stupid so it's just been a struggle so i finally was able to go to the store today and pick up a few things but then also i am an amazon prime member and i use the prime now app and if you don't know anything about that i kind of talk about that i believe in a couple of vlogs because i talk about how beneficial it is if you live in an apartment or if you're a single lady like myself who doesn't have like a strong you know man <laughs> i mean don't get me wrong. I'm strong and I can do my own shit. But it's nothing like, you know, having a man take your groceries into the house for you. Anyways, so because, you know, I'm over here, you know, living a millennial lifestyle, um, I decided to get my groceries delivered. So I ordered a couple of things and it should be delivered today, actually. Um, I ordered them yesterday morning, literally super early, like 5 a.m. And there were no time slots available none yesterday and the time i think it was some available at like super late at night but i was still at work so it wouldn't have worked out for me so i was just like okay whatever it's fine um so they should be getting delivered i believe my time slot is between 7 p.m and 9 p.m so it is now just turning six <laughs> so i have like three hours um uh, to sit and wait for my shit hopefully it comes at the beginning and not at the end because 
I don't want shit now. Um, but I just ordered like a lot of water. I ordered like some juices and stuff. I ordered some cleaning supplies and just some basic household stuff that I needed. I ordered paper towels. But my sister even sent me a message and she's in the healthcare field and she was like, make sure you get detergent. Um, what she say? Make sure you get detergent and uh, toilet paper, paper towels, hand sanitizers. What I don't have, I don't have disinfectants. Like I have bleach in my house, like a bleach spray that I have been using to clean around the house and make sure that like things are disinfected. I always clean with like a bleach spray regardless in my bathroom because I'm very like OCD like that and I like want there to be no bacterias in my bathroom because of, obviously that's where a lot of them hoard and stay so yeah i don't know i'm just kind of crazy like that but other than that i don't own a disinfectant spray i don't have any purell i think i may have like one bath and body works like hand sanitizer somewhere around my apartment but obviously like like have you seen the meme and it's like bath and body works hand sanitizer is like 10 pro oh, what did it say like 10 percent alcohol and 90 percent glitter like Come on y'all, like, ugh. So, yeah, your girl is out here struggling. That's what's going on with me right now. I'm just waiting for my groceries or whatever supplies to get here from Amazon and then I'm gonna put away my Target stuff. Um, but really, like, to update you guys on what's going on in my life and what's been going on for the last couple of weeks. Oh, hell no. Y'all heard that? Somebody in my hallway coughing up their fucking lungs. <laughs> Y'all, they think I coronavirus. Don't be by my door fucking coughing. <sighs> that made me want to go get some disinfectant spray and literally spray my entire door like every handle that i touch like every time i walk in a house i legit wash my hands first that's the first thing i do because you know i live in a apartment complex so there is multiple different type of people and you know you're touching doorknobs and stuff like that that everybody's touched all day and you don't know you know what type of bacteria is on there um and then we have like a maintenance crew but they barely i feel like clean <sighs> yeah that just really irritated my soul <laughs> uh it's so crazy because as soon as somebody sneezes or coughs you immediately look at them like does she have it does he have it mm. and it's sad <laughs> it's sad because you shouldn't really do that but we all do it you know even when i cough i'm like oh my god i promise i don't have the coronavirus but who's to know i don't know you know but no but yeah it's just a, it's a semi-scary time because it's you know, just annoying to like have everybody on high alert like this. And when people get scared and ignorant, things can happen. Um, if you know where I'm going with that, like I, I feel like, you know, the unknown is scary. And when people get scared, they do dumb shit. So hopefully the government and whomever else and, you know, people just with their own basic logic can, we can just bypass this whole thing and it just be like a thing that we look back on and say oh man the beginning of 2020 woo, that was rough with that corona but we survived it here's hoping um <laughs> so what's also strange is that like i work in retail and so i get a lot of like ladies coming in for birthday parties and like all these different things and what's so interesting is that like different concerts and like um festivals and stuff like that are being canceled however it's so crazy that like bars and clubs are like, we gonna stay open, we gonna make this money. Like, and we not, we, I don't care. Even though there's this whole like social, what is it? Distancing, blah, blah, blah. Like bars and clubs are not taking heat. Restaurants don't care, obviously, cause people are still going out to eat for their birthdays. Like I didn't see it. So many people, so many customers are coming to my store like, oh, I need an outfit cause I'm going to the signature room. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's still open cool you know it's fine just close down all the schools but keep every other social thing open it i don't know it's just all not adding up and so i'm just waiting for the day when there's some mass message saying that like everything we're all quarantined for real for real and we all got to stay inside um because i mean honestly 
your girl can use a break, okay? I could stay inside a little bit. It wouldn't be too bad. And, you know, I got a couple of friends that live in my building, so hey, <laughs> we'll just kick it in here. Um, but yeah, no, so I don't know. It's just very interesting. Um, but going back to what I was trying to say, there has been over the course of the last few weeks i've actually been doing a couple of things so let's backtrack a little bit i've been talking for 11 minutes now let's backtrack to all-star weekend All-Star Weekend was lit uh, for everyone else. <laughs> for me, I don't feel like it was as dope. Like the entire week um, leading up to the weekend, I didn't really do as much. I didn't go to as many events. I did do a little shopping here and there, which was cool. And because it was a Chicago-based 
you know, event. Obviously, there's a lot of great Chicago shopping stuff, especially with like local boutiques and sneaker boutiques and all that type of stuff. So I went and did that, which was really dope. I actually got the sneakers um, that you guys saw from the Adidas Chicago launches, which was really, really dope. Um, and I guess I can show you those too. So... I was super excited to go to Fat Tiger and see the Vic Lloyd collection um, that he had with Adidas and his new sneakers and also the um, Rello sneakers which is really dope as well and I also ended up getting the Chicago Girl sneakers too so I got all three of the like low top I will say Adidas because there is also a fourth pair which is a green pair and i felt like those were more masculine i mean i'm i'm definitely feel like i can like freak some masculine styles too but me being a green lover you would have thought that i would have went on ahead and bought those too but i don't know i wasn't feeling the silhouette and everything but i did end up picking up the rellos these are the rello adidas not sure if it's coming up true to color because is definitely dark <laughs> but they're so dope i love this like muted pale pink suede and then the actual like original shell shell toe being like a more of a baby pink and this being more of a muted like just a muted pink i just love well it's kind of like a a soft pepto bismol pink and then this being like a baby soft pink i don't know how to describe it because my nails are like a super pop hot pink so <laughs> but yeah these are super dope first of all they're very comfortable i love the inside if you can see that i know like my i'm not picking up good lighting but i will like show you on the side how they look i can't wait to style these um i have a couple of ideas in mind so i'm so excited um but i just love that it says three stripes on the side like this this is just what makes the shoe like if it actually had three stripes it'd be like uh it's a cute it's a pink shoe but this is what makes the shoe um and i love that it says we are all superstars i mean it's just dope like shoe like it's nothing wrong with it like at all so love those and then the chicago girl shoes were the next ones that i had to pick up and it's the red kind of plastic and it has these really dope like lace and they kind of have a, like a glittery uh finish on them but it's like a actual lace lace <laughs> see what i did there so but yeah it's like super dope i don't know why my hat's looking weird i just feel like you can't see me um, what I do like about all the Adidas is that they come with multiple shoelaces and I think that's really great because sometimes you want to change it up. Um, so it came with a, another red skinny pair, a white pair, and I believe a like nude-ish lace lace as well, um, which can be very interesting now that I think about it, a nude one. Hmm. Um, but yeah, these are really dope. I love that on the tongue it says the Chicago girls do it better forever. Wait. Chicago girls do it better since forever. So that's pretty dope. And then it also says Chicago girls do it better on the side here, which is really dope. The back just looks like that. Yeah, it's just a dope sneaker. Like, and you would think like it being plasticky that your feet would like be hot. I've worn these during an eight hour shift at work um, and felt no pain. Like my feet didn't hurt. They also weren't hot and sweaty. Um, it did stain my white socks, however. I will say that my white socks definitely are now a pinkish red tone, um, especially like at the toe box area and also on the bottom of the sole. Um, but I mean, honestly, that's kind of to be expected with anything red, like your foot rubbing up against it for hours, like it's gonna stain your socks, so. And then the very last pair are these guys, which are the Vic Lloyd Adidas. Um, I love this hot pink. I actually don't really own any clothing items that are like hot pink. I do have actually now two pair of hot pink heels, um, but I just thought these were really dope. They definitely match my nails right now. I'm trying to wait actually until it like fully becomes spring to bust these out because of our weather in Chicago is so wishy-washy. Like it's legit snowing right now and it's 
what is today march 14th like what's going on um so i don't want to be out and about and then all of a sudden it's a rainstorm or something and i'm like stuck wearing my dope sneakers in the middle of a blizzard or something so i'm gonna wait a while and let them you know build some character and um i love that it came with also multiple laces so there is a pink gray and also a nice like turquoisey blue and it's another gray pair that's already inside of the shoe um so this one is more of a roped lace whereas this one has that like flat regular style lace so yeah i just love these i love the inside detailing i will definitely give you some close-ups of all three of them but very dope so i was excited to be able to pick those up there was a couple of other sneakers that i could not get my hands on during all-star weekend so it was the uh, jordan retros that came out in the red and blue oh i really 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 wanted those but you know how sneakers head sneakers head how sneaker heads do like they be on it and i feel like i need like i said this before in a vlog or something or my insta story and if you're not following me on instagram here's my instagram handle go ahead and follow me but i said this before i need an assistant that can like help me like get these exclusive sneakers or i need a connect who could put something to the side i don't know what it is but i need somebody because i'll be trying i'll be on those apps and like i get the notifications when they're about to drop and i go and i try to get stuff and i've only been lucky a few times like every other time it'll say like sold out and it'll be like right at 9 a.m when it released and i'm like how the fuck are these sold out they just released a second ago i'm so confused so you know it's a struggle it's cool i really didn't have as many adidas in my collection i think i legit had the pharrell um stan smith adidas launch and then i had just a couple of other like real casual chill pair yeah so i literally had three pair and now i've added three more so i legit have six pair of adidas that i own i'm really a nike girl when it comes to sneakers like i'm just like all about it and i but i love adidas like fashion so we'll see if i like continue on this adidas trail um but yeah so those are the sneakers that i got during all-star weekend and then after all-star weekend i feel like i kind of jumped right into work i went out a couple of times with a few of my girlfriends and i went out a couple of times with some booze <laughs> y'all we're not gonna talk about it so that's what's going on with me just an update i trying to figure out what i'm gonna do as far as like my career is concerned like i said i did start a new job which is dope but i also want to focus more on rg mode and you guys know like i'm trying to do a couple of different things and I really want to narrow focus and figure out what it is that I really want to do. I've kind of decided to start a new creative venture and I don't really want to share it on the channel yet until I know for sure that that's something that I'm really going to commit to because I feel like once you announce something you put it in the air and then it allows you know the elements to kind of attack it and I kind of am trying to like mm. I told a few close friends um but i i really don't know what i want to do with it yet so until i like finalize it just stay tuned um but in that in saying that i feel like there's a couple of things that i need to start doing to like get rg mode like fully growing and off the ground um yeah so that's what i'm focused on so i'm trying for the rest of march going into april like just to kind of figure out a rhythm 